Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's SolidWorks Power Move, we're gonna take a look at this dialog box that shows up when you add a dimension that is not required to fully define your sketch. You can see here it says, adding this dimension will make the sketch over-defined or unable to solve. Do you wanna add it as a driven dimension instead? And I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna make this a driven dimension. And then the next time I go to add another reference dimension here, I get that dialog again. Well, one way that you can save a lot of time in SolidWorks is you can click this check mark here that says, don't show again. The thing you want to realize is that whatever you've got set up in this box is going to become the default when you say don't show again. So for example, if I inadvertently said leave this dimension driving, which is going to over define my sketch, and then I said don't show again, well what happens now is anytime I add a new dimension, let me delete this one. Anytime I add a new dimension, the default behavior is that dimension is gonna be added as driving. The dialog box does not show up, and in this case, my sketch goes overdefined, which is not what I want. So it is a nice time saver that you're able to set the default behavior, and you're able to say, don't show me that dialog box every time, but, if you choose the wrong options, then you have to go in and modify the options. And so the question is, where do you go to modify those options? Well, the answer to that question is, let me delete this dimension here. The answer to that question is you go up here into your options. So here's your options here. You click on this options, and then you go down here to messages, errors, warnings. Now, over the years, these two options have kind of changed their text. So it might be listed a little bit different, but just look around down here for something like messages, errors, warnings. And what you're specifically looking for is dismissed messages messages. In the earlier builds of SolidWorks, this was included in, in this box here. So it might be included here in this box, or it might be a subcategory. So I'm going to go down here to dismissed messages, and we can see here that this is an example of a dialog box that I said, don't show me again. And so if I want to see that dialog box again, so that I can change the default behavior, I'll just check this option on check messages will be shown again. I'll hit OK. And now the next time I go in to add a new dimension, I'm gonna get that dialogue again. So here you'll see I go to add that dimension and it says adding this dimension will make the sketch overdefined. Do you wanna make it driven instead? And I'm gonna say, yes, let's make that driven instead. And I'm gonna say, don't show me again. Now, when I say don't show me again and make that driven, now what'll happen is make it driven becomes a default behavior. So that means that I can click here, click here, and now that shows up automatically as a driven dimension. And this is really useful because in this case, this model was designed entirely around the origin. I've got some some mirror geometry here or some symmetry geometry here so i might want to show the machinist where the zero zero is down here in this corner and maybe i would even want to show them this dimension as a reference dimension and that way all those dimensions show up when i go to make a drawing and import my dimensions from the model now another place that i find this this dismissal of a common dialog box to be very useful is in the delete command so here what i'll do is i'll bring this out to maybe 10 millimeters for this original base plate and then i'll choose this face here and begin a new sketch and i'm just going to sketch a circle just a base circle here I'll make this like 25 millimeters I'm gonna exit the sketch I'm using the S key here to navigate through these menus and then I'll bring this up to a height of 12 millimeters so just creating a little extrusion there out to a height of 12 millimeters and then on this edge of that extrusion I'm gonna create a fillet well a lot of times when we go in and we choose to delete features in SolidWorks we get a common dialog box it always pops up over and over again so here what I'll do is I'll delete this this fillet for example I'll press delete and you see here it says it's gonna delete the fillet are you sure you want to delete it yes or if i go to this feature here and i press delete it says it's going to delete the boss extrude and it's going to delete the fillet because the fillet is a dependent item well i don't need to see this dialog box over and over and over and over again okay if i delete something and i didn't want it to delete all the children i could just press Control z and, and undo and kind of go back through a little bit deeper so what i normally do here is i say yes delete that fillet or delete sorry delete the boss extrude i clicked on the boss extrude here and i press delete so delete the boss extrude and then also delete the child features and don't show me again so i'm going to delete that i'm going to say don't show me again i'm going to say yes and there we go it left the sketch behind but it deleted the boss and it deleted the downstream items now if you wanted to change your defaults to also delete the absorbed sketch or to not delete the child features that's totally fine and now you know how to do it whatever you configure in that box when you choose the don't show again will become the default behavior so i'm just going to press Control z here and then i'm going to click on that feature again and press delete 
tweet and oh yeah i like that it doesn't show up with that com confirmation dialogue box over and over and over again and that's really what makes this a power move it's one of these things where you know i don't always say don't show me again but there's certainly some common ones that i do like make this dimension driven and are you sure you want to delete this feature you know i just clicked on it and pressed delete i'm pretty sure i want to delete this feature now if we go in here to configurations this is another one a lot of times when you change between configurations you'll get a box that says are you sure you want to rebuild or do you want to rebuild this configuration for that one i would always say yes and don't show me again but of course if you ever wanted to change those defaults or if you ever wanted to bring those boxes back you just go in here to options you go down here to messages dismiss messages and here you go you can see these dismissed messages these are things that i said don't show me again and if i wanted to bring them back i would just go through the list and check them on and that way they would show up again and maybe i could refine what i want the default behavior to be so I hope you guys enjoyed that power move. I think this is a great way to save some time in SolidWorks. And if you did enjoy this, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments what you learned from this video. And of course, if you're ever interested in taking some training with Too Tall Toby, check out the, the information down in the description of this video. We've got some great training classes over on the Think Epic site. And I will look forward to seeing all of you in the next Too Tall Toby SolidWorks power move.